when did special education become so profitable and how are these profits hurting the youth's education in America? Okay, here's what's happening. It costs basically 10 or 12 times as much to do special education per student as it does for the regular track. So every time you get a special ed student, what you're doing is you're cutting back on what 12 other students get. Now, one of the things that's going on is too often what happens in the home place is something that's very bad. The children are not getting prepared to deal with life because what's going on in their home is not somebody sitting down and saying, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna sit here with you at the kitchen table. You're gonna do your homework. Somebody's just saying, oh, do what the hell you wanna do. I don't care, it's not my fault. There's a white supremacy thing going on. There's a white man sitting on the other side of my kid's kitchen table interfering with them. So you get a lot of people that aren't really special education material, but wind up getting treated as that. And also it's like a couch potato. If a person just sits on the couch and doesn't do anything physical, they get real physically flabby. If you let somebody sit around and not develop their mind in the crucial formative years, they get mentally flabby and they may become special ed because somebody at home has not been doing what they needed to do to develop that child's mind and give them the necessary step-by-step -step foundation. So special education becomes very profitable for systems when you get corruption on the boards of education. Right now in Memphis Shelby County, we have all sorts of problems going on right now that are getting exposed that have to do with corruption. Special education budgets are getting diverted for other purposes. You see, you have stuff where let's say a contract with a supplier or a service provider is under $100,000. It doesn't have to be ruled on by the whole board when you have a large board of education. But if you have 10 separate contracts during a year, that's a million dollars, which is significant, but none of them had to be reviewed. So a lot of the funds that would be going for special education are used to furnish the wherewithal for these other programs that somebody on the board get stuff under the table on. We had at least one conscientious lady on the Memphis or the Shelby County Board of Education to resign. She said, I can no longer be part of this ignorance and corruption that is going on right here. So it's become endemic in the school system. Look at Chicago. 25 years ago, Chicago had one of the best public school systems in the country. Nobody sent their kids to private school because the public school was so excellent. Now look what's happened to it. It's out of control because it becomes a means for the unscrupulous at the expense of the children to get money that's in their bank accounts or in their cookie jars so they can spend cash on it. So uh, I just want to understand if you increase the population of special ed children obviously you increase the funding but the fund is not being used for special ed That's children right. it's abusing elsewhere yeah that makes sense because personally i witnessed where like special ed children weren't receiving the services their iep says they're supposed to get no they're not so who's getting it and plus the other thing is are you hiring extra teachers to handle you're not see so where exactly are you supposed to provide for this? You have how many hours a day that the students stay in there? The ones that come in on the regular bus or the ones that come in on the short bus? So the ones that come in on the short bus don't have extra teachers brought into the schools. They've got the same teachers. And oftentimes you've got the special ed students in the same classrooms with the regular track students. So what are you doing? You got extra money, but no extra teachers. No extra classrooms, 
So all of the rest of the students have to be held back because of the special ed students well, who are in there. And it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Judge, as an educated man like yourself, right, especially a person with experience in education, where did they get this theory that if you put a, a, a student who's struggling in their academics with other kids, they're going to boost up? Where did this idea come from? Because it seems that like they... Well, it, it's popular. In other words... Uh, by example, it can work, but not the way they do it. We had uh, a junior college that had extra um, classroom space. So what they wound up doing with this junior college is they opened up a special high school where the high school students would attend class inside the junior college. So I remember in the 90s, I used to go over there and lecture. And I remember I was walking down the hallway and I had to stop and watch this. This young man was trying to talk to this sister who was leaning up against the doorway to go wait for her class to start. She was fine. She had a nice legs, face, and body, everything. Yeah, mommy said, she said, wait, just stop, stop. She said, look, one, you're too young. Too, if you want somebody like me, everybody in here is trying to get their thing together. That's why we're going to college. And you're in here acting like a dip, a fool. Do you really expect one of us to pay attention to you? Well, no. So if you wanted somebody like me, go get your stuff together. I'm watching you around the hallways act the clown. Do you think I'm supposed to be responding to that? So what wound up happening before they ended this experiment is an extremely high number of these students who were there because they had been disciplinary problems in other high schools wound up getting scholarships, grants, aids, and went on and got graduate degrees, postgraduate degrees, an enormous number. But for some reason, they cut it down and they stopped it. So that is an example of taking smart kids who were behavioral problems and putting them in a place where they're surrounded by adults who are trying to do something positive. That works. All right. Now, if you take somebody where it is a, isn't a motivational thing, it is a capacity thing, you are defeating your purposes because it doesn't work.